So this is the front of the Bay Piper fly case, and it's got two different compartments that you can um, put stuff in. So let's start with the front. So if I take the uh, zippers here on the side where the logo is, I'll unzip the pocket, and let's take a little look inside. So you can see that there are a few little spaces in here. You have a pocket that's in here, a few um, bits of pockets right here that you can um, uh, fit a few reads in, and a little space right here for whatever that can be used for. Then you have two spaces um, that are Velcro um, secured. You have this one here that'll open up, and then you can see, look at all that space in there, it's quite a bit. So whatever you want to fit in there will, will work out just fine. And then he, here, this part right there, there's a little tab here. If I pull that up and uh, pull it back, and uh, this one is a warning, so there's a little bit of stuff on the Velcro. But you can see in there, this there is enough space in there for like a tablet or an iPad or something. I, I personally put um, like travel papers in there um, uh, for when I uh, go across border and stuff like that. But for, but specifically speaking, this is more used for, um, or designed rather, for um, tablets and iPads and electronics and that sort of thing. So if I zip that up, let's go on to the key um, part where you store your bagpipes. I'll open it up so that you can see how the bag looks on the inside. So you got quite a bit of space in here. You have all of this, and then these little bits on the back are for where um, the, the wheels are, as this can be a wheeled bag and uh, converted into a backpack, but we'll talk about that in a little bit here. There is a, a zipper piece right here so, um, that you can use um, to basically see what the inside of it looks like. So that's what the inside of this looks like. It's pretty, it's pretty well padded. And if you take that out, you'll just notice that it's, um, it's just hard plastic in there. But I haven't had any issues with it since. I'll put that back in there. And that's pretty much all that is. So let's close that up again. This, there is a bar here. So I technically usually put my drones on either side of this. Um, usually this side. I'll put, I'll put them with a towel on the inside here and um, I'll put the drones I'll put the drone bits uh, on this side and then I'll show you in a moment where you can where you um, you could uh, potentially put the tops of the drones but this space here will be for where you can put your pipe your bag pipe bag um, and uh, your chanters and whatnot but this is going to be your primary storage part for the bag pipes and there's one more space that I want to show you so let's take a look at that now So this is the last part, um, the storage part that I want to talk to you about. And if you can, if I hold that up, you can see where, where, where it's at. This part here has a uh, Velcro uh, flip flap on it. So I'm just going to open that up. It's, uh, it's got a pretty good amount of Velcro on it, so it stays pretty secure. Now, if you look in there, you might be able to see that there are some storage pockets in here. There's about uh, three or four of them. There's uh, four of them. It's kind of tiny in the back there. But those are where you can store your uh, drones in, in these little bits. And they have a fair bit of space. I can, I've, when I put my drones in here, I can usually get them down to about th half to three quarters of the length, but more like three quarters. So there's plenty of space for them to go in because you can see um, how tall the, the bit is here. So that is where I could put the drones. So I'll close it up and I wanna to talk to you about just a few features of this bag that I've been using for a few years. One of the things I wanna point out with um, the um, compatibility of this case is that it has a telescopic handle. So let me show you where it is. This little um, zipper right there, you'll pull it, pull it up or pull it over rather. <laughs> and then you see that there's a handle right here. There's a button that says press. There's two screws on either side of those, um, of the uh, button and um, you know don't need to worry about those. Press the thing, press the button in, and I like to grab it on with uh, these two fingers here uh, underneath because it only has um, uh, one um, pole that, come, that uh, comes out. 
So if I get this and I bring it out, you might have to uh, wedge it out just a little bit from the, the top flap here, but bring that all the way up. So this has about maybe a foot of uh, length, but it is extremely sturdy and um, it does what it's supposed to do. And you can bring it up to here and it'll stay put. So like you can see that, I, that I'm actually able to pick it up. So this thing is pretty lightweight. And if I press the button down again, then you can hear that um, it clicks and there's the little uh, knob on, the, on uh, the back there. You can see that. And if I turn around and press the, ha the handle on the uh, bar down again and put it all the way up, then I can press it down and then hear I feel it lock. And then you push the, um, uh, pull the zipper back over and that's how you get the telescopic handle out. The only thing about the uh, handle that I would um, personally make a, d a different design of is have two handles um, or two, two um, poles rather, kind of like a regular um, a suitcase handle would be that you can usually put like a, a messenger bag or something over top of. Putting your messenger bag um, around this where it has just the one um, metal piece in uh, for the rod makes it uh, a little bit tricky to put your uh, laptop bag in, but I guess that's kind of what uh, the other bit bits in here are for. So that's uh, one of the pieces I thought I would mention. So let's carry on to the next section. So on the back of this bag, you'll notice that there are wheels on here and um, I've been using this, for, like I say, for quite a few years. So the wheels are um, used up a little bit, but you have a space here that um, you can open up and there's a little bit of space in here. And this is basically where you can put your um, flap for underneath. So when you put, um, so, th so this will help keep the bottom dry for when you're taking it across like water and stuff like that. So I'll, throw, so I'll push that back in there. And when I, as I flip this up, I'm going to show you a cool, the, one of the cool features of this bag. There is zippers on the sides here and I'm going to open up this zipper. And when I bring down the flap here and it's got a little button right there. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to put the, the tab on um, the bottom of the bag. There's a little flap right here and I'm going to put that on there and give it a bit of a, a bit of a uh, push. And that is how you can make this into a backpack. So I'm going to take this thing here and you notice that there is a little, uh, cl a clip there. So just like that. And this thing opens up. So if I go back over here, there's um, uh, hooks on the sides. So you can take this hook and attach it to the line there. And then you got one strap and then you can do that for the other side as well. And these straps are really good because as you can see right here, there, there are buckles on both sides. And look, look, at, the, look at the length of this. You have a lot of um, uh, length to work with in case you're a bigger person and uh, you need a little bit more um, shoulder space in here. So this works really well. And when you have your bake pipes in here, there's not a lot of weight in there, honestly, unless you're putting like textbooks and stuff in there that, you know, weigh 10 or 20 pounds. This thing is very lightweight and it makes for a fantastic way to get on the plane if you're traveling because otherwise it's a lot harder to get everything in. So that is the Big Piper Fly case. If you um, enjoyed this review, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what else, what other products uh, you would like to see reviews on. And if I have them, I'll be glad to record them for you. And if um, there's anything you'd like to see for future videos, please leave a comment down um, below. And I'll leave some links in the description to this product and um, Archie Hardy's site as well to see what other products they have. But I've been very happy with this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.